Hi everyone, welcome, I'm Snokus, and this is another episode of our Let's Play series of Endless Place 2. Hopefully you've been enjoying this series as much as I have, it's quite fun. Anyway, uh, we were... what the fuck were we doing? We were building our fleet. Um, so our fleet is g getting constructed here, it's gonna get, take six, six turns to um, create the Megras uh, part of the fleet, and it's gonna take another... Um, nine turns in total to build the Inducer part of the fleet. And they're gonna meet up in Inducer and then we're gonna hunt down the Onthanto pirates here. So, we've... Um, these guys, uh, our um, exploration fleet is gonna move down to... Um, G Gikra, it's gonna take uh, 12 turns and then uh, another 12, 12 to go back, but uh, once they're down here I'm, I'm imagining we're just gonna send them out on a Exploration mission. So let's end the mission. Let's end the turn here. And yeah. Hopefully, we'll get one of our incubators out soon. I'm um, not sure what I'm saying. Hopefully, we do have full control over when that happens. Um, call me. Just moved up the colonization here of the other Koyos planet here. Um, simply because we do need the raw manpower and the raw production from simply having population. Um, okay, cool. Right, we can finally recruit a hero. Another one. Okay, so we need... A military leader, essentially. So, Sophons are... Um, as Well, we do have a Sophon here, so you knew, know how that looks. Um, as it says, they are... Um, skilled in science and development. Seeker... Is about exploration and scientific wisdom, I guess. So that is a borderline kind of um, war leader, I suppose. So we could use either this guy or this guy, this person or this person, um, as a leader in um, both our military fleet and then when conflicts are over we can move them over to the scientific fleet, exploration fleet and keep exploring. The thing is I do... Okay, so the overseer is what we have uh, on our other hero, I believe. Or maybe not. No, it isn't actually. But I do want a better... I want a flagship. Right, I want a fucking flagship. So I guess the Overseer is better for that. Anyway, uh, I don't want a scientist, even though it is another um, faction or race. Uh, because uh, I, I want another party leader, essentially. So it's either gonna be religious and industrialist, uh, or either Seeker or Overseer. Seeker is good because they could aid us uh, on our exploration missions. And Sofon is kind of boring because Luminous would give us more money. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with the Overseer. Um, small, small. Fuck it, let's go with uh, Fahim Nutah. And then let's try to make this guy's ship into um, okay. So the overseer specific. Let's see what he got uh, in regards to um, leading ships, movement point, shield capacity. Shield capacity is amazing though. Uh, refill rate. Okay, so only kind of two. Two skills there, which is really good. Wish and range, good. Any weapon damage, good. This is so fun specific, okay. Um, 
movement points on fleet. Okay. Um, this we should get first due to experience per turn on fleet. And also the vision range. Alright, so yeah. Uh, I suppose that's an easy choice. Um, next time I guess I'm gonna go with the Seeker instead. Because uh, I kind of feel like Overseer wasn't as flagshipy. That depends on the ship, I guess. Holy ship is loud. Holy ship, it's loud. Okay, so we got two uh, weapon slots here. Uh, it's gonna. St this ship's gonna be standoffish, I imagine. Um, Alright, that tells me a lot. Um, high. S okay, so we got. Sl Sorry. We got the slugs. And. I'm thinking we're gonna give it the laser. So we got the slugs and the laser. Um, we could give them torpedoes because they're also long range. But I'm thinking uh, the hero ship should be versatile. Um, I do want one. Um, one shield generator. Simply because I think being flexible in this regard as well is good. Um, projectile. So this is. Um, Weapon type is. So we got one projectile and one uh, energy. So you know what? Maybe we should go with. <laughs> animation sorry um, okay so we've got this here uh, which we don't need so let's replace it with this um, same thing was but better and ship evasion uh, give it some kinetic enhancer increase the damage our ship can do And then let's also get some nano nano um, nano repair bots. All right, uh, we can't apply the design due to uh, dust limitations, I guess. How much? Okay, let's uh, do this for now, and next turn we can get the, the last thing as well. We don't have a ship in Megaris yet, so we can't assign this guy. So we're gonna have to wait on that. Uh, our exploration fleet is already on the way. How long until Imnos is done? 14 turns. Sounds good. Wentho is still going. Although we're gonna lose it in two turns. We're most likely not gonna be able to do anything about it. I know, I know he is um, the guy, the person. I know this hero is um, unassigned, but uh, I'm not gonna assign him this turn alright cool this is gonna take 16 turns and we're gonna get science gansa which gives us more science essentially alright cool 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 right we should upgrade Okay, so you've read the reports and it looks like a luxury luxury research generation across all your system is exceeding expectation this year. You can already anticipate the response from your advisors though. The industrialist will advise you to quietly shore up the empire's economy with the extra goods, while the religious contingent will want you to make a big show of thanking the gods for a bountiful harvest. Um, 
we don't have any system development, so that's useless. Resource generation is good, and I don't really mind industrial political ideology, so that's fine. And we should create a fleet here, and then we should assign Fahim Nutar. And then we should also go into this is the other guy, though. Um, Okay, let's uh, focusing on uh, science then. Okay, we finally we finally lost um, outpost on on one though, so we should uh, try to retake that as soon as possible. First, we're gonna inspect this guy and finish this fleet off. This can be loud, it's loud every time. Anyway, and we're done. Decent amount of attack, really good defense, quick as hell, and uh, generally very powerful. Okay, so um, this fleet already has, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Can you rename it? Uh, it's hard to tell um, how strong any given fleet is, I guess. Hey, cool. We got up since we've got um, a set amount of uh, population, so funds. Um, uh, in this this time and uh, we got some um, extra something we've got extra uh, political support for scientists the scientific scientific political party if we get, get 20 of them we get extra um, science uh, on systems with so funds and the last one we get extra cheaper technologies Calgross would give us more religious support, uh, more approval, and then happy sardines, whatever that is. Uh, pilgrims would give us scientists as well, wish and range, and blind sight. Okay, interesting. Tell us. All right. Tell us You're reserved, you so not as afraid and yet um, anymore. I mean. Okay, so what we can do now is we can assist these guys and try to assimilate them, so that is what we're gonna do. But first I want our um, fleet ready to um, assist them, but because generally it's either a fetch quest or a defensive, a defense, defend a position quest or something like that. So we do want to be ready. And as you can see now, uh, the turns are starting to slow down, so... What has happened? New minor civilization! That's really cool. These guys look look amazing. Um, you don't have any relation with anyone else. Hmm. Okay. So you seem um, you seem unique. If nothing else, I'm not gonna try to influence them that yet. They are quite a bit away from our um, our core systems, and uh, we are kind of. Overextended as it is on that minor civilization front. What was I talking about? I was talking about something. Yeah, right. Um, the turns are starting to slow down, so I might uh, go down to 1080p again. We'll see. Cool. So let's uh, watch this. Um, we're gonna watch this fight between the pirates and two of our ships. And. I guess we're going with turtle. Uh, you get to choose which tactic you want before the battle, and I haven't changed out the tactics, which is dumb of me. Um, you can either, we could either go um, powered shields, and shield absorption would be increased, which is good because I do believe actually only the hero fleet ship has um, shields, but it does lower the weapon damage, and we do want to kill this guy. So, and um, dust gained is only use useful if we do know that one of our fleets is gonna. One of our ships gonna die. 
and hull plating is the best we got because it doesn't affect um, any we we yeah weapon output. So let's fight this guy. And I mean, it, you don't actually control anything. You only watch it, and it's cool. It's really cool to see. Definitely, it is a bit janky though. So we are gonna fiddle around with it a bit and. Don't grief me too much if you don't really keep up with what's happening. So you got the auto camera, which is kind of like a movie. This is the bad guys rolling in and we saw our fleet in the distance here. Um, what we can do is go with a free camera. The thing is, it's really fucking... Awkward to move around. The other thing you can do is the overview camera. And you can see their fleet and our fleet uh, squaring off. And this is as, as um, close as you can come with it. And I, I kind of like this more than any of the other. Because you can see the shields, you can see the um, whatever that is, and the general life and stuff like that. So that's really cool. And you do see, still see the ships. You see our hero ship shooting in their. Um, the projectiles, the gas, out to whatever, um, and the missiles flying and everything. Hopefully, we don't lose our protector here. Um, I doubt it. I really doubt it. But still, and when we do start to scale up to larger fleets, this is gonna be really awesome to see because they have more than two fleets. You can have like six fleets simultaneously flying different maneuvers and uh, attacking each other and stuff like that. And you're gonna see projectiles flying in every direction. So we. Let's speed this up here. I mean, it's kind of a foregone conclusion that we're gonna win this encounter. This is where our hero fleet not have any, having any um, short range weapons being really bad. We were, I was gonna say we were about to uh, lose one of our fleets, but no, we weren't. Um, okay, so that's cool. Let's, um, Create this one, select all and merge. Let's go in here see if we can't retrofit. I kind of want to re repair. It might just be that the luminaries, or whatever they're called, uh, can repair their fleets with money uh, while no other um, faction can do that. So we're just simply gonna have to wait for this guy to be repaired. Uh, might be better to... Um... So I uh, hang, uh, disbanded <clears throat> the fleet and hopefully they'll repair quicker soon. I, I'm, I, I'm honestly not really sure how that works, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, next turn, our incubator. Right, so we're done here, actually. Um, so instead of being disbanded in here, let's move to Indusa. And then let's disband here. And then let's just wait for those ships to uh, be ready. Did not end my turn. Uh, you're gonna wait one turn. How are you looking uh, in regards to your XP here? <laughs> well, you got you got um, two XP. All right. So the turn. Um, hopefully, we'll get Imnos soon. Three more turns. Good. We are gonna. It's gonna be huge to finally get that. I think. Okay, so we got one colonizer here, which we're gonna use. We're gonna create a fleet and go to Cancer. Um, you're gonna wait another turn until this fleet is essentially done. Uh, you guys are on your merry, merry way here. Soon uh, they'll be. Uh... Okay, we'll see what's happened. Soon uh, the exploration fleet will breach their go their um, the goal, and uh, we'll be done with that quest. Okay, so now. Okay, so luxury resources have gone up in, in price. Um, 
Let's wait another turn. Let's move along with everyone. Colony ship can colonize next turn. Let's... Um, I'm gonna sell some... Uh, Uh, what's it called? Hyperium. Because uh, the prices on them increased and we... Yeah, so some extra dust rarely hurts. If I, if I put it like that. And as soon as this fleet here is done, we're gonna start taking the quest for these guys. And finally, we have an outpost on Imnos. So let's uh, go the... The usual ones. Um, Increase, buff up uh, industrial as much as possible, then um, colonize everything that we can colonize, then money and science and more money and happiness and research, research, research. Cool. That was quick. We gained a pilgrim on Megras. Good. Now we have two of them. Hopefully, we'll gain more. And we find found another minor civilization. Good for food and fertile. Uh, surprising that, eh? Hey, we found the pilgrims actually. Cool. Uh, show location. I didn't know they were an actual minor civilization. Huge amount of science. Cool, because you always start with one pilgrim on your planet. I guess that might be with lore or something. Okay, your fleet enters the system Cancer and has barely showed from super light speed when a belt of rocks circling one of the planets start to peel off and head towards you on a carefully calibrated collision course. With your current inertia and momentum, unfortunately, a course, sorry, uh, a course change is impossible. Study 20 fleet health on Grayson 4th heroic experiment. Or destroy it. Fuck it, let's um, destroy it, I guess. I mean, we're gonna colonize with the fleet now, anyway, so. And we are gonna colonize the only planet that actually have any food production. Cool, cool, cool. The first book, the first cinematic of uh, this kind. With the, with the snow cats and the, the weak cancer. Um, we could spend some money to speed this up. Fr frankly, why the fuck not? We did just gain a whole lot. Actually, I'm gonna sell even more money. Um, okay, so the, the colonization of cancer is underway. Hopefully, cancer doesn't colonize us in the meantime. Um, I'm gonna sell another 35. Um, Hyperium and then we're gonna end the episode and I'm actually gonna end the session here. So thanks for watching Hopefully you will like this series. Uh, I have recorded a couple of episodes now and I won't see your reactions until after they're all out But anyway um, Leave a like if you want to see more of this. Leave a dislike if you dislike the video or Anything I do or if you want to see something else or something any criticism is good um, Suggest other games if you want to see other games and most important of all Subscribe if you want to or if you want to support me. It's really helpful and you get to see all of the content that I put out So uh, anyway last and more most important have a nice day. I hope you really do and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Goodbye